you know the other conversation I was having? You know, you know when we were young, Fustino, Italian football, yeah. like how oh, good yeah. Italian football was, and 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 how you used to so, get their dregs. So many marquee footballers over the years were Italians. Alessandro Del Piero was so iconic. Gianfranco Zola, so iconic. Zardi. Fabrizio Ravanelli, so iconic. Gianluca Vialli, so like the list goes on and on and on and on. Where are these glorious? Where's the Totti of today? Where's the Del Piero of today? It's been Coach Where's the Scalacci Remember Massimo today? Macaroni and he went to he went to Macaroni. They got to the final. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah, they, won they? they won 5-4, didn't yeah. they? Against Alves. 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 It's what, uh, yeah, but it's true. Where is... Where is... Well, I, I always saw a thing about uh, uh, Guardiola when he was at Bayern Munich that the German football fans hated him. A, a lot of them. Because they thought he was coaching the individual character of football away from people so everyone yeah, was fair complaint. Uh, and maybe Guardiola-ism has kind of taken all these individual players away from the game so yeah you look at Jack Grealish for example yeah what he'd is be he? a maverick he'd elsewhere wouldn't he yeah. Jack, Jack Grealish at another club maybe even Tottenham under Postacoglu he would be a total maverick who would almost play by his own rules you know the way that you know, do you remember the old school he's got a free role yeah. do you remember there are certain players Matt yeah. Tissier at Southampton yeah. free role no responsibility get him the ball see what happens the only time I've seen that in the last decade is Lionel Messi at the World Cup yeah exactly exactly can you win in, with that in club football if it's Lionel Messi yeah but if it's nowadays it's just very functional the, managers the, have got yeah. right, I need my left back to do this mm. I need my right but back to do that to so the, then if you fall out of that uh, all of a sudden it looks mate crap, it's got to it? the stage now though where you know if you are a bit of a maverick and you do something a little bit oh. wild say you do something a little bit wild a little, say, say for example I don't know who Phil Foden picks the ball up here and does something off the wall, not what he's been coached to do, just off the wall. I think it's more likely to get you if it doesn't result in a goal. It's more likely to get you substituted than applauded. But, by but your the manager. manager mentally notes it, doesn't he? There's a chance to win half a million pounds on Super Six. All you have to do is predict six scores. Click the link down below, download the app, and also join our mini league. If you come top of our mini league, you get the chance to win 100 quid at Classic Football Shirts. But the big one, lads, let's be real. Half a million quid for typing in some football predictions. Super easy. Click the link down below. And if no one wins, the following week, we're doing a rollover. 750 grand up to a million quid around the Christmas period. That is very, very special indeed. Yeah. So then it's like... Uh, all right, I didn't ask you to do that. I didn't ask you to do that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And 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 plus, yeah. managers are like, if once you get thirty yards out, yeah, I want my full back here. You need to pass yeah. it there, and then he and it's like, if you're not doing that, and you know, you're you know, wasting you, his time for getting the last side to win the Premier League in that fashion with individual characters <laughs> is Leicester City. Every side since uh, Man City, Liverpool, functional. Could you not argue mm. that? You know, Salah's Could brilliant. you not argue that brilliant, they had but... a very distinctive style of play though, Leicester City? No, but it was very soul cue up. Smash in the break. football, mm. but it, it was that was a style, right? Yeah, of course, course. in itself. But but it but allowed no, Ran Mares to be individual Ranieri, and floating. Ranieri didn't force players out of their natural. So Riyad Mahrez scoring a goal at the Etihad actually for Leicester, so doing a step over, smashing at home with his right foot. Mm. That was that was the spontaneous brilliance of Mahrez. That wasn't part of of Ranieri's. That was advocate. Did we not get to see that from Mahrez at City? Not as much. Less so, I think. It's more formulaic, but he 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 signed up to a, to winning things into a system, yeah. and he he was functional. Do, do you know the to other, a very to, good do, level? Do you know what today is, no, is Michael you, Essien's just... birthday? Right, this is another right way of demonstrating this point. Today's Michael Essien's birthday. Happy birthday, reason, Michael, happy birthday. You're watching. Yeah, I just want to I'm just, <laughs> bring a cake out. No, the reason I'm telling you that is because I saw uh, a compilation of goals, like the Bison, and all these. The one goals. against Arsenal. Think, think about that goal against Arsenal. One of the most iconic Premier League goals ever. Right. I swear to you, a Chelsea midfielder in the past three years hasn't had a shot from that far out. Like, not one shot. There hasn't no. been a shot. No. Not one that's been missed. No. Not one that's gone over the bar. Not one that's been saved by the goalie or not one that's hit the back of the net. No, no Chelsea player. That, that shot is coming in from, what do you reckon, 35? 30 yards, yeah. Between 30 and 40. What, the outside of the boot? Yeah. And it's going 30, wide. 30 yards. No, no, it's, it's, it's far. Is it? Yeah, 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 it's far. It's like 35, I reckon, right? Yeah. I swear to you, no Chelsea players hit one from there. Lampard picks it up, lays it off. Yeah. SCN comes running in outside of yeah. the boot. It's not the game. It's not optimal. But goals from outside the box are so special. They're so... Br like Frank Lampard from outside the box. Brilliant. Yeah. Um, Stephen Gerrard from outside the box. Brilliant. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful. I, don't, I think that we don't have that anymore. Yeah, and it's a, it's a shame. I don't think it should be that way, but it's what not What percentage optimal. of goals, like without going all staty, what percentage of goals... Do you think? Do you think there's a decline in the overall amount of goals that have been scored? Distance yeah. from goal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, like look at where Phil Foden scored from today. Yeah, yeah. 
that's yeah, yeah, that's yeah, what yeah. happens. It's all tapping's in it. Yeah. I think Guardiola is changing right now. I think Doku represents that. He's look at look at the license Might Doku's be got. Idea, but Doku's in. Go on. Go on. Oh, big heavy touch first. Yeah, bad touch. Yeah. I saw one of those articles that you know, one of those stat articles, and it's like you know, Guardiola's uh, embracing chaos over control. He you know, isn't I, I, though, is he? Those, those, but that's yeah, not but true. He is, he that's is. a great headline. He is. That's, that's this is control, though. Mate, that's utter uh, I don't think it is. I think we're playing less in midfield than we ever used. We used to play 4-3-3, rigid 4-3-3. It was the class, almost like comes back from the kind of Dutch you 90s. Chaos, every week? Yeah. yeah but, but <laughs> chaos in the sense that he's given license <laughs> no, to Doku to do what he wants to do. And then I, don't, I don't think Doku's lost the ball 10 times today. No, no, no. He's allowed to lose the ball in certain positions, though. And there'll be certain players that are allowed to take those risks yeah. within his formation. Yeah, he, Doku takes Doku's a even winger. more risks than we used to last. Honestly, it's more. I don't think there's any risk takers anymore, really. Like, I understand what you're saying. Doku takes more risks than anyone else. But risk takers would be like... Ryan Giggs would have been a risk taker. Yeah, yeah, ninety yeah, yeah. percent of Ryan yeah. Giggs's runs in the probably context, end in yeah, giving yeah. the ball away. In that context, ten percent end up in a goal. Yeah, you're spot so it's on. worth it. Of course, of course. I'm not saying that. It, but what I'm trying to say is that I think Guardiola has taken away. That's not what you guys think control. about this debate in the comments. I will read some out. It's nearly half time in this game. I just think. I just think your football's <laughs> like the Mavericks. But arguing uh, four four end to end, trying to trying to make something happen. It's, it didn't it's, feel Guardiola. Trent scores a lot of goals. People are saying from he's one of a few, isn't he? Yeah, and, well, Liv today. Liverpool are actually a little bit. I would say that Liverpool, I'd say Jurgen Klopp isn't necessarily part of this movement. I think that Guardiola and those that emulate Guardiola. Yeah, Liverpool they, had four today from outside. Yeah, but okay, Liverpool aren't in my reckoning for this really. To their credit, they're not in my re in my reckoning. Chelsea, despite being not good. Potter would be a disciple of Guardiola, really. He'd conform to the Guardiola thing. Mm. Um, I would say that... Some people want to go back to Sopranos chat. We can, we can do that. We can always do that. Um, re some people say Real Madrid are very of that nature as well. What, a bit more maverick? Yeah, yeah. Ancelotti, though. Let Benzema do what he wants, whatever. Yeah. Vinicius. Yeah. But again, that Bellingham would be... now. Look at that Bellingham's an, role now. That's Ancelotti, isn't he? He's an old school. Yeah. He's not... But Carlo Ancelotti's obviously not trying to emulate... But is that the future? Well, I think that's the that most interesting thing. Well. You see where players like... They're all conscious of, uh, I don't want up to Joel tweeting my stats today. Yeah. I've got 70% <laughs> yeah, possession. Yeah. 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 So instead of having a shot from 30 yards, they'll pass it. Well, this is because it's like, all right, mate, I'll, there's I'll nothing more, there's nothing more infuriating, right? It. There's nothing more infuriating than say, you know, when Jorginho was at Chelsea, Jorginho didn't give the ball away today, made 100% of his yeah, passes, uh, yeah. four or five yard passes, yeah. 100 of them. Yeah. I don't care. Try a few through balls. They might not all work. I, wa I watched like a really old black and white football game a few weeks ago and it was like, you know, football used to be like, you set up like a back four and then everyone else just bombs on and shoots yeah. from different angles and then yeah, as long as like you don't get Primary beat, school, just everyone yeah. chasing the ball. But now it's like <laughs> everyone's got to be involved in this mm. expansive network of passing and mm. it, that's just where it's going in the future. Yeah, it's become very scientific football, which is, I think, kind of goes, I, I like that Angelotti's not that, I like that Jurgen Klopp's not that, but I think football is meant to be more spontaneous. It's meant to be more yeah, unpredictable. Clough was doing that back in the seventies and all that. He was just a, they were early. Do you know what I mean? There's maybe, always maybe, been. Maybe. I don't know about. I don't know if that was Clough's you know. philosophy. I don't know. But if if it was, fine. But it, he would have been the anomaly rather than Klopp now. Being I, the I just anomaly. meant Clough, like someone like Clough or someone like you know Bob Paisley or all these. Every year there's a new manager that takes football on to the next level. Yeah. Unfortunately, football's now no, but, become but less if individualistic. About, if you think about the Premier League's greatest ever manager, up until now at least, Ferguson. There was nothing sort of scientific about Ferguson's approach. Not really. But do, but I think we do kind of what was disregard that, yeah. that. You know, like people nowadays, I get frustrated when people talk about Roy Keane or whoever, and they're like, oh, yeah, he's just a clogger. But then you watch no. these players back then and their passing range, everything yeah. was very good. But I think because nowadays, you know, nowadays after every match, you'll see one of them clips on Twitter, two minutes of just one player playing mm. that match. You could never do that back in the day no. for every game because no, unless you went to the exist. matches, you the didn't see 90 didn't minutes. Yeah. No, 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 no. So you only saw what was on match yeah. of the day. So, you know, it all it, it came less about... Yeah. You, you didn't know more about uh, how but, much stats and what shape were these guys in because we like, didn't have that overload of stats. You know, when you, you think about... You did think about players, right? Play, so yeah. think about mm. Stephen Gerrard's goal versus Marseille, right? Half time. Steve one, Gerrard uh, versus Marseille. Frank, Lam Frank Lampard versus Everton in the cup final. Um, just Paul Scholes at Valley Parade. Like, there are so many of those examples... I don't think that I don't think players really have the shot now. I don't even think they take the punt. No, they don't. Occasionally, Bruno Fernandes because he Are takes we being, full responsibility. Again, I'm with you, 
But are we being nostalgia merchants? Tell me if I am. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm asking. No, are I, we? Like, I'm, I'm, maybe. Who are we? I don't think you're, you're, you're not being nostalgia merchants for making the observation. Like, like, you might just be, think Garnacho scored arguably you, the one of the greatest. Yeah, but we don't goals. see. A, we don't see enough of them. We're hearing about Trent's goals today and McAllister's goals. No, Liverpool. You can't. You can't factor Liverpool in because Liverpool. Aren't this? You're not. You're not nostalgic. I, I, I'm on the same side as you two as well. I, I want there to be more long shots. I want there to be individual uh, quality. Okay, what about another one? But I just don't think there is. I just don't think there is. Headed goals. Yeah, that's down. That's down. That's down. Everything's Headed down. Goals. That's for good reason, though. People aren't lumping it. Apart no, from Man United. No, but you can score. You <laughs> can, we don't yeah. get in the You box. can score brilliant goals. You can score brilliant, brilliantly well crafted goals with your head. Yeah, 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 you know, like Les Ferdinand off a David Ginola cross in front of the Gallagate. That's yeah. sexy, man. Yeah, 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 you know what I mean. Like that's a great goal. Yeah, David Ginola. David Ginola jinking past the winger, yeah. whipping it in, and Ferdinand jumping. No, no, six I hear foot what in you're saying, but people are playing it on the floor. They're tr- trying to look for those. It's tackles. down. It's down. What I'm saying though is, is football becoming too scientific? Are we? Yeah. Are we? We're not having long shots from outside the box, headed goals. Every single goal so now is, football, is a perfectly crafted... From a tactical perspective, and even you look at refereeing perspective, it's just become too science, not yeah. scientific, but too specific, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah. Like, we need to get this deadly right. Mm. I think it's a shame. I think it's a shame. But I reckon there'll be someone that comes along, takes more long shots, gets really good at it, and eventually they'll beat all these keepers that are now rubbish that aren't used to saving long shots, you know and they'll just go back to you, that. You know it's players who, who, who were the mavericks of their day? Does Paul, Gascoigne, does, Paul Gascoigne make it, does Paul Gascoigne make it as a professional footballer yeah. today? Does Matt you know Letizia? Yeah. Does Matt yeah. Letizia? Yeah. Yes. yes, you know why? Do you think? You know why it is? Yeah. Because they have better they have better training facilities, they have better diet, they have better science around them, mm. they have better travel, better this, better that. Because everyone in the dressing room isn't drinking anymore, they're less inclined no, no, to but not indulge even, in that. I don't mean that. So I mean, therefore, they'd be better I mean, Okay, look, the reason, result, the, let's use Matt Letizia here, right? Matt Letizia would not press... From the front, like he, he's never going to do. Oh that. yeah, of course. He's never ever going to do that. Mm. So presumably, the system is more important than Matt Letizia mm-hmm. for Guardiola. Guardiola's never going to want him. But some managers would still, right? It's like Berbatov a little bit. Okay, does Berbatov make it to professional footballer yeah. today? Where? What club would would allow for? Be a, do you a... know the point I'm making? I, I, I know do, the point you like, make. Like my favourite, my favourite, back at Spurs. My favourite footballers are the ones that I'm talking about here, and I just hate the potential of those kind of players now being overlooked because mm. they will not like. Mason Mount, Conor Gallagher are great examples of this, right? They're nowhere near as good a footballer as... You know, like a Berbatov would... Nowadays, I'm not comparing him because he was twice, three times a player. But you know, like how Firmino played at Liverpool? Yeah. In a system. Right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. He, could, he could bring yeah. others into play. Like, yeah, yeah. So there's still that where his immaculate first touch is... Vision is everything yeah. could be used and used in a system like that. So Bellingham's doing a Real Madrid. Bellingham's a no, great but, example. Again, the, he's, the, the he's two, almost what we say, though. He's mate, kind of like a maverick. The, though, the, as well, two, the yeah. two examples that I don't think we can bring into to if you're trying to counter the point that I'm making, and I but the point I'm making, by the way, I hope I'm wrong, and I don't even know how much I believe in it. But the two examples that don't disprove the theory I'm pushing is anything to do with Real Madrid or anything to do with Liverpool. But then, so telling by me that, that Real Madrid token, are playing this system. So I know by that token, Liverpool. I know. So by that mm. thing. So if we're talking about City and Barcelona, yeah. two of the biggest yeah, yeah. clubs at the moment in, in the yeah. world, they play a certain way. Yeah. That's very. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we say two of the other biggest clubs play, and so is yeah. that just not styles? And no, do because we still I would not say have in, in the Premier we... in the Premier League, aside from Liverpool, aside from Liverpool, Luton don't do it. I'm trying to think. <laughs> no, no, Luton don't. Like, Luton are old fashioned. Like two men up front and that. I'm, uh, like Brighton or Man City. Yeah, the, tr- the cheap tr- version. Chelsea yeah. or Man City. A little bit like that. Chelsea or Man City. Yeah. A, ter- a, a B-Tech version, but the point of Chelsea is to yeah. be Man City. Yeah. Arsenal. Arsenal or Man City. But to a certain level, again, their styles are obviously different. But I'd imagine some of their coaching methods would be similar, the way they drill their teams. Is Jurgen Klopp not right? that as well in terms of his teams are really well drilled and they have to he allows for Mavericks he allows for Mavericks 